really pumped. It's a great watching and just seeing the best people compete. There's no shortage of rodeo fans in Vegas, even with the rain. This is, I, I think it's my fourth year now, and this is the second time staying downtown. The city has completely collaborated on everything that we do, all the spinoff events. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority is estimating more than 170,000 people will be filling up Thomas and Mac over the 10-day event, and downtown Las Vegas is trying to rope in more and more of the fun. The pedestrianized aspect, the affordability, uh, is such a unique environment on Fremont Street that, uh, yeah, it's becoming more popular every year. Just a few examples. Four downtown hotels as NFR sponsors. More and more watch parties near Fremont. And just look around. All these cowboys and cowgirls filling up downtown hotels. I mean, if the NFR wasn't here, um, hotels wouldn't be full. And uh, we're excited. We're sold out all, all 10 days. And three decades of sold out events mean big spending by all those visitors. It has a big, big impact, like on our dealers. Um, cowboys like to play the tables. Uh, it, has, it has a big impact on, on our restaurants. While there's still time to get in on the fun, the hoedown, it goes till after 11 o'clock tonight if you want to make your way down to the Fremont Street Experience. And another fun tidbit for tonight, this is the first time that visitors get to see the newly renovated LED screen that will be making its official debut on New Year's Eve. Reporting live, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. All right, giddy up. Tiffany, thank you so much. More news.